Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to another unboxing build video. Uh, shout out to Games Workshop for sending us over a copy of Shadow Throne free of charge uh, to review, paint and build up. Now, I'm quite excited about this box because finally Gene Sailor Cult are getting some love. I don't even think, I think I played them once in 9th edition. Uh, but the new uh, Reductus Saboteur model, or Saboteur, however you want to pronounce it, model is in here along with the new Custodes Blade Champion, which I believe is a bit like a Lieutenant. So what do you get in the box? Well, you get the Patriarch and the Magus and the, I can't remember that guy's name, the Saboteur and then 10 Neophytes. So very character heavy. And then on the Custodes side, you get the new Lieutenant guy, three Terminators and five of the Sisters with Flamers, which is going to destroy the Gene Stealer cult. Um, but I'm, I'm quite excited to paint up these two characters especially. So, this is the Saboteur. I love all the little uh, bomb packs and everything. And this appears to be the Custodian Guard. So, two sprues for him. Nice big embossed cloak, moulded base of course as well. Uh, so I'm going to go and get these guys painted up and built up. I'm going to do them in two separate videos to so make sure you go and check them out. But then we're going to see what we're going to do with the rest of the Custodes and Gene Sailor Cult as well. So here we go guys, this was a nice easy model to put together. Very quick, very easy. And I've already primed it in grey. And believe it or not, nearly all of my Gene Sailor Cults are painted using contrast paints the whole lot so uh after giving a, a coat of light gray primer let's dive right in so i'll go straight in with griff charger gray i paint the shin pads and the sort of industrial vest um just so that it, it shades all of those recesses then i go in with leviadon blue for the sleeves on the upper arms as well as any jean stealer arms which this guy's left arms are. Trousers I do in Dark Angels Green. And one of my favourite colours, Warp Lightning, uh, I do the entire cloak in this. If you were using normal paints, you can still use all the uh, same colours pretty much. Uh, so Cantor Blue, uh, Warpstone Glow for the cloak, and Dark Angels Green. Uh, Caliban Green. I then use Wildwood for all of the brown pouches and the little grenade belt and there's a couple of uh, robes over his shoulder and the backpack as well. Then I use Black Templar to paint not only the boots but also the mine, the uh, little control as well as the uh, spare mine on the backpack and the little aerial on his shoulder as well. Next up, I paint all of the skin using Magos Purple, including the Gene Stealer hand, the arm, and the heads. Next up is Lead Belcher, so I paint the chain, the central control on the vest, uh, and the Black Templar mines and controls and aerials and stuff. Give them a, a kind of edge highlight with the Lead Belcher just to give them that metallic feel. There's also a few other little bits like the goggles and the watch as well. Paint the Jane Steel Cult Icon using Retributor Armor, and then I'm going to paint the canister with the plunger uh, using Blood Angels Red. And then I'm going to base them using one of Terry's uh, bases. Terry is from Demonscapes, the channel sponsor. This is the Alien Base. And there you go. As easy as that. Very quick and easy Jane Steel Cult models have a lot of details and are perfect for contrast paints.